Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello my creepy creepy friends, welcome to Slams and Bobs where on Saturday again or Sunday morning whenever you're watching this we get to do our Thunderbirds review. I'm so ahead of them at the minute, isn't it better to not have this on a Monday? Don't you, th don't you think? Is it not better to just come in Saturday and go, oh look Nixie's finally done Thunderbirds, yay! Geek gossip time! Brilliant. So today's episode was called Heavy Metal. One of my favourite things ever, you're talking my language. Not so much heavy metal, probably metal, Alter Bridge, Shinedown, I love Shinedown. But Brent Smith can preach a bit during gigs. Yes, I get in standing. I am only miniature, but I get in standing. I would never not go in standing for a gig, unless I went to see Avenged Sevenfold, because then I would probably die. Or Marilyn Manson. I would die at a Marilyn Manson gig, would I not? Could you imagine that? It would just be, oh, there's Nixie. Oh, Nixie's dead on the floor. Alan and Brains have gone to a big space centre where Brains essentially is having the biggest geek out ever, as only a geek could have. But unfortunately, they decide that they're going to press this collider thing that's name is so confusing that I can't remember it. We're going to call it the collider. I know some of you are going to go, Nixie, it's this, it's this, but it's, it's wordy and... It's Saturday and it's one of my last three days off before I have to go back to work again and I'm not saying several tongue twisters. I've been writing novels novels all week and making cake. Sum that up. You can go and see the cake on Twitter now. We'll get to that in a minute. So after pressing the button, suddenly what they think is a meteor comes crashing down to New Geneva where they are. Except it's not a meteor, is it? It's actually a satellite. Enter Virgil Tracy. So now we have Alan in the field. And Virgil in the field. We're getting there. And he finds out that it's a satellite and the initial idea is that it's a sabotage satellite which can mean only one person. The hood. Yay! Another call comes in. There's a plane travelling from Tokyo that's suddenly going down all on its own. So now we have three brothers because Scott Tracy goes to rescue this. However, when Scott gets near the plane, he grapples it and thinks, yay, I'm going to get this rescue done in a few seconds. But then... He starts to lose all control of his craft and then we've got Scott Tracy in danger. Scott and the plane literally falling out of the sky. Alan's standing in the space station with brains going, I've got to go and help, I've got to go and help. But they're not letting him, which isn't fair because it's still four and a half men. So with brains and Alan and Professor Moffat, we're going to get onto that name in a minute, still in their little space station, it's found out that the collider thing is what's caused all this, as I mentioned, and it's created a gravity well whirlpool that sucks things into it. And that's why Scott and the plane have lost control of their crafts. It's not because there's anything technically wrong, it's because they're being sucked down and they can't control getting out of it. It's like if you imagine going into a whirlpool, you go round and round and round and round and round and there's no way of getting out. You just have to go with the current and end up be sucked down and drown. But you're not going to get drowned in, in, gra in a gravity well. You're just going to I guess. However, now it's starting to emerge that somehow gravity seems to be switching. So, so rather than gravity pulling you down on the Earth, Alan Tintin and Moffat are flying up, while another National Space Station is now being ripped apart and essentially it's going to burn and their gravity is going down. So it's like reverse rolls from space and land. Ah! It's now with Virgil, Alan, Scott and Gordon in the field. Where did Gordon come from? Gordon was suddenly there. He wasn't in the plane with Virgil that we saw. He was just suddenly there. Just appeared out of nowhere. Maybe he's got an invisibility cloak or maybe he can apparate. But now we have all four brothers in the field plus John in space running everything as usual. It's a family fair and we love these episodes as we know. All five. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. This is where... Thunderbird 4 finally gets its interesting use and my world is put to rights because I don't feel like such a bimbo anymore. They lower Thunderbird 4 out of the bottom of Thunderbird 2 like a little bait and send it down into the middle of the whirlpool to somehow destroy the gravity well. So then of course because Virgil's there he's now getting sucked into it. This calls on Alan to get back in the little pod that I thought was Thunderbird 4 before, but it wasn't, and go and support Virgil, and then Scott's there and he's supporting Virgil, and all four of them are together, so he's doing the one thing. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm such a nerd, but I love it. You're a man. 
There's only one way to sort out something like this. You blow it the hell up. Gordon fires a rocket right into the middle of the collider, destroys it and destroys the gravity well and yay, everyone's happy. No one dies, the space station doesn't die, it's probably going to need a ton of maintenance work. No one burns up and happy days. All ends, brains and Moffat flirt, happy end to the episode. Before I say any more, there were two particular shots right at the end. One is where all four brothers are individually in crafts and they all just exchange a little glance of like, yeah. And I was like, I don't know why this moment got me, but damn, that was fun. And then all four just walked through the doors of the space station. I was like, oh, oh. it was just the four of them walking through. It was like, oh, I love that moment. I just wish John could have been there, but hey -ho. John's a nice, isolated little person like me. John said at one point, calling international rescue. My world is complete. I love that. I thought I, I thought it was going to be a distress call, but John said it. It's been said. That works for me. I'm officially a happy fan now. Now, Professor Moffat, given the fact that this was such a scientific episode, is anyone sitting here going, have they just made a little link there to Doctor Who and Stephen Moffat? Even though Professor Moffat was a weird looking woman. You be the judge, maybe not because it's a woman and Steve Ann Moffat's not a woman. Science nerd, I am not, but when all the brothers are in one rescue episode, we're a happy bunch of fans, right? That was heavy metal. It was definitely one of the better episodes. It definitely made up for last week's one that I don't think any of us were so keen on, but we did enjoy elements of it. Probably still not as good as Skyhook and Fireflash, but... Who's keeping tabs? Oh yeah, me. So yes, we finally have a Twitter. I just set it up this morning. It is down here with the Instagram. I've finally done the Twitter. We can finally, hopefully, interact a little bit more. Maybe. Hopefully. I like interacting with you lot. You're my little Thunderbirds fan base. My, my geekies. and my, my nerdies and stuff. Also, one thing I should mention. Last night on the Horror Channel was the worst movie I have ever seen. Which is Wrong Turn 3. Children don't watch it, adults don't watch it. There's one or two moments of cool deaths in there, gory deaths, but it was by far the worst acted and worst made movie I've seen. Wrong Turn 1 with Eliza Dushku, fine, loved it. Wrong Turn 3, just, we're not even going to go there again. I'm never going to watch that film ever again. Horror Channel is great, but they do have some sucky movies on there at the time. That was Heavy Metal. That was this week's Thunderbirds. I am so happy to have done that for you all by Saturday again. Yes. We're getting in the summer mood, even though it's raining outside. I thought we were going to have a cat today, but unfortunately she jumped off the bed before we could get her in shot. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you again next week for more Thunderbirds, and I'm looking forward to it. Bye everyone.